Hey, what's going on? It's Strange. Uh, welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. And in today's video, I'm going to be recreating the bass sound from Brucey. I think that's how you pronounce his name. If you know how to pronounce it, then let me know in the comment below. However, the song is called You and I, and it was a hit last summer. There's a music video to it. And if you haven't heard it, then I'll put a link below so you can check it out. However, it's that infectious, almost UK Garrett sounding bass line and I'm gonna show you how to do it in serum today also let me know in the comments what song you'd like to see me recreate in the future and I'm gonna say if we can get this up to 500 likes then I'm gonna give you guys the preset including the breaks and the project file for free if you want to stay updated on future videos as well as more giveaways then make sure to hit the subscribe button I'd really appreciate it I'm trying to get it up to 5,000 subscribers so if if you guys can help me out, that'll be amazing. And make sure to stay to the end of the video. I'm going to be showing you one extra trick to take the sound to the next level. So let's get right into it. So this is a fairly simple sound to make. The key takeaway is that we're going to have two oscillators where the first oscillator is going to be playing the root note and the second oscillator is going to be playing what we call a fifth. So to get that clear rounded sound, we're going to be using sine waves for the oscillator. So I'm going to click and change it to analog BD sine. And then I'm going to enable oscillator B and also turn this to analog BD sine. So oscillator A will be playing the root note. And then oscillator B will be playing what we call the fifth. And for those that know music theory, a fifth is always seven semitones up from your root note. So that means under the semitone parameter, we're gonna click and drag this up to seven. So now it's playing what we call a fifth chord because it's playing the root and the fifth together. Now an additional step is we're gonna have to change the octave of oscillator B to two. So we're gonna click and drag so that brings oscillator B2 ranges up, so it plays that higher tone where oscillator A is playing more of a bass note. Now the next step is we're going to have to use the envelope to shape oscillator B. So I'm going to go into envelope and bring that crosshair over to the level of oscillator B. And then I'm going to bring the level down to around 15%. And then I'm going to drag the modulation amount, which is the horseshoe icon here. Click and drag it up to 100%. And then we're going to have to use the envelope to create that womp kind of sound. So this is where we're going to have to learn how to visualize what we hear into what we see on the envelope. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the attack. And we're going to have a very quick attack around 35 milliseconds. And then we're going to bring the sustain all the way down. And then we're going to have to adjust the decay maybe around 300 to 200 milliseconds. And then we're going to adjust that curve so it's convex like that. That's what, how you get that womp kind of sound. And you can zoom in by using this magnifying icon and just click and drag down. Okay, the next step is we're going to have to apply some FM modulation onto oscillator B. So under oscillator B in the warp parameter, we're going to select FM from A. So oscillator A is then modulating oscillator B. And then we're going to use the envelope 2 to modulate the amount. So we're going to drag that guy over there. And then just bring the envelope amount to around 36 Okay, we're getting close. Now, additional step is you can adjust the wavetable position of oscillator B. It'll subtly change the texture of that sound and you can adjust it to taste. And then we're gonna go into the effects section and turn on the distortion and then adjust the drive. Anywhere between 40 to 65, I think works. Well, we're going to bring the mix down to 50%. So you have half dry signal and half affected signal. 
Okay, and then turn on the reverb. Now make sure to use the low cut to remove those low frequencies from the reverb. Otherwise your signal is gonna to start to sound muddy. Okay, we're very close. We're gonna go back to the oscillator and this is an optional step, but you can adjust the level of oscillator A. That's just a sub level, so you can bring it down or up based on your taste. You could also turn on the sub oscillator. That would add an additional oscillator for the sub frequencies. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna program some notes in. And I got this break, it's called the Sandy Break. It's a popular break in drum and bass, especially old school jungle. Now, I encourage you guys to take the sound to write your own melody. However, I also think that there's a really good lesson here if we study the melody in you and I. So I'm gonna open a new MIDI clip here and make it four bars. The concept here with you and I is that we're gonna write the melody with dotted eighth notes. So what a dotted eighth note is, if we switch to the eighth note view, this note here would be an eighth note. And when we say dotted, it simply means extend the note by half of that note. So I'm gonna to switch to the 16th note view and extend it by a half. So that's a dotted eighth note. Now let's find the right octave. So that's the octave we're gonna be writing in. It's an octave one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this dotted eighth note three times. One, two, three. Now the bass line in you and I follows a four note progression. It goes from E to A to C to E. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy these four notes and then drag it over to A and then drag it over to C. And then finally, we're gonna drag it down to the bottom E over here. And then we're gonna have these, what I call joiner notes to join the chord progression. So we're gonna have an A up here, and then it goes from A, B to C, and we have another B here to join the C to the E. And let's listen to what we have. So that's close. The final step is to mute the second and third notes. So we're gonna delete these two guys. And now listen to what we have. So there you have it. That's the melody for you and I. It's a great exercise to learn because the dotted eighth note is used a lot in drum and bass. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there's one step you can make to the sound to take it to the next level. So I'm gonna open up Serum and then go into the effects section. We're gonna turn the drive up and then bring the mix all the way up as well. And then we're gonna go back to envelope two and increase the decay to around one second. And then we have everyone's favorite sound, the foghorn. So that's another option for your sound to play with. Once again, this is a pretty basic sound to make. The main idea here is that we have two oscillators where the first oscillator is playing the root note. The second oscillator is playing the fifth, which is always seven semitones up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you practice the sound as well as the dotted eighth note melody. And remember, if we can get it up to 500 likes, then I'll give you guys the preset and the project for free. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. We'll see you at the next video.